Top 10 Trending K-Dramas to Watch as of August 2022 Number 10. The King of Pigs The King of Pigs is a thriller drama that tells the story of two friends who are victims of school bullying that cause them traumatic experiences which still haunt their present lives. Wang Kyungmin, played by Kim Dong-wook, was a victim of school bullying which deeply traumatized him in middle school but managed to control his emotion caused by it. At present, he appears to be a happy person, enjoying life with his wife. However, unfortunate events caused his depression to relapse, leading him to commit crimes. On the other hand, Detective Jung Jong Suk played by Kim Sung Kyu, received a mysterious message from his friend whom he knew 20 years ago. This leads him to remember the school violence that took place back then. Chasing the mysterious message, he tries to stop more murders with the help of Detective Kang jin played by Chi jung an who is enthusiastic about her work. Number 9. Mouse Mouse is a thriller which fantasizes the scenario what if psychopaths can feel remorse and guilt for their actions. It follows Zhang ba Riem played by Lee Sung-gi, a steadfast police officer whose life changes when he encounters a psychopathic serial killer. This drives him and his partner Gomuchi played by Lee hae Jun, to unearth the truth behind psychopathic behaviors. This also raises the questions whether it is possible to scan a psychopath in the mother's womb using fetal genetic testing. And if the child in the womb is a psychopath, will it be wise to have that child? Number 8. 2521 2521 depicts the romantic lives of five characters spanning from the year of 1998 to 2021. In 1998, Nahe Du, played by Kim tae ri was a member of the school fencing team at Seonjun Girls High School, which got disbanded due to the IMF crisis. To continue pursuing her passion, she transferred to Tang High School and later managed to become a member of the national fencing team. Baeki Jin, played by Nam Ju Yuk, has his family gone from riches to rags and got separated from them due to their financial problem. He was forced to take up several part-time jobs and later became a sports reporter. At present day, Kim Min Che, played by Choi Myung Bin, Na Hae Du's daughter, quits ballet and runs away to her grandma's house wherein she comes across her mother's diary, through which the story is then told. Number 7. My Liberation Notes Set in the fictional Sampo village in Gyeonggi-do, My Liberation Notes tells the story of three siblings and a secretive stranger who want to escape from their dead-end lives. Let's get a glimpse of the characters. Yong Chang Hae, played by Lee Min Ki, is the middle child of the three siblings. He wants to escape from his family's home in Sampo Village, but he doesn't have a dream and just spends his life meaninglessly. As a result, he is looked down upon by his family members. Yo Mi Jiang, played by Kim Ji Won, is the youngest child of the three siblings. She would like to be liberated from her boring life, but she is introverted and timid. She is lonely and feels unfulfilled in her life. Hot-tempered Yom Ji Jiang, played by Liel, is the oldest child of the three siblings. She wastes a lot of time commuting to her job in Seoul from Sampo Village. Her life is filled with complaints and she wants to find love. And the mysterious man Mr. Gu, played by Sun Suk Ku, who suddenly appears in Sampo Village and is always drunk after doing his tasks from the father of the three siblings. Number 6. Our Blues our Blues is a series that revolves around the sweet and bitter life of people standing at the end, climax, or beginning of life, and depicts their stories in an omnibus format against the backdrop of Jeju Island. Let's get a glimpse of the characters. Lee Dong Sok, played by Lee Byung Hun, was born in a small village on Jeju Island and sells stuff from his truck. He then gets involved with Min Sun Ah, played by Shin Min Ah, who has just moved to Jeju with her own secret story. Choi Han Su, played by Cha Seung Won, was also born and raised in Jeju Island, but he moved away to the mainland then eventually returned to his hometown. He meets his first love Jung Eun Hae, played by Lee Jung Eun, who runs a fishing store on the island. She is friends with Komi Ran, played by Um Jung Wa, who also returned to her hometown in Jeju when she got tired of the tough city life. Lee Yong Wook, played by Han Ji Min, who moved to Jeju Island, has been a Hae Neo for the past year. She is a bright person, but many rumors follow her around. She meets Park Jiang Jun, played by Kim Woo Bin, who is a fishing boat captain with a warm heart and is looking for a woman who will not leave Jeju. Number 5. Chimera This series revolves around an unexplained explosion that led to a serial murder case known as the Chimera Serial Murder Case in 1984. Thirty-five years later, a similar explosion took place again when an elderly man leaving a gambling den late into the night got to his car and found a strange golden lighter with a chimera embossed on it. 
The moment he flicks the lighter, the car blows up. The main characters Cha Jae Hwan, played by Park Hae Su, Eugene, played by Su Hae An, and Lee Jun Yop, played by Lee Hae Jun, who all have their own personal reasons, then try to dig through secrets of the past 35 years to find the culprit named Chimera when a series of murders known as the Chimera killings that occurred in 1984 happens again in 2019. Number 4. Our Beloved Summer our Beloved Summer is a romantic comedy about the complex subtle feelings of a man and a woman as lovers who break up and are forced back in front of cameras ten years later due to the popularity of a documentary they shot in high school. The show revolves around Choi Young, played by Choi Woo Shik, and Kuk Yeon Su, played by Kim Da Mi, who are ex-lovers that broke up with a promise to never meet again. As luck would have it, the documentary they filmed ten years ago in high school went viral and they were forced to face the cameras together again by their producer friend. The series depicts their complicated feelings and growth. Number 3. It's Okay to Not Be Okay It's Okay to Not Be Okay is a fantasy romantic drama about a psychiatric ward caregiver living on 1.8 million won and an impulsive fairy tale writer suffering from antisocial personality disorder. Moon Gang Tae, played by Kim Soo Yoon, leaves with his older autistic brother Moon Sang Tae, played by Oh Jung Si. They frequently move from town to town ever since Sang Tae witnessed their mother's murder. Dang Tae works as a caretaker in a psychiatric ward at every place they settle in. While working in a hospital, he meets a famous children's book writer, Ko Moon Young, played by So Ye Ji, who is rumored to have antisocial personality disorder. Circumstances lead Gang Tae to work at the OK Psychiatric Hospital in Seonjin City, the same city where they all lived when they were young. Meanwhile, Moon Young forms a romantic obsession for Gang Tae after finding out that their paths overlap. She follows him to Sianjin, where the trio including Sang Tae slowly begins to heal each other's emotional wounds. They unravel many secrets, seek comfort from each other and move forward in their lives. Number 2. Hometown Cha 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 Hometown Cha 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 is a romantic comedy about a picture-perfect woman Yoon Yee Jin, played by Shin Min Ah, who is an intelligent and pretty dentist living in the big city. She loses her job after she accuses the dental clinic's head doctor of overdoing patients' treatment for more profit. She then embarks on a trip to the idyllic seaside village of Gongjin, where she meets jack-of-all-trades Hong Do Sik, played by Kim Sun Ho. Do Sik is held in high esteem in the village because he takes care of the elders and does not shy away from any odd jobs. By chance, the paths of the two people cross several times and they take a liking to each other while Do Sik constantly helps Yi Jin out of trouble. Number 1. Alchemy of Souls Alchemy of Souls is an ongoing TV series starring Lee Jae-wook and Jung So-min. Lee Jae-wook plays the role of Jang-wook who is a mischievous troublemaker from the noble Jang family. While it might seem like he has it all, Jang-wook is perpetually haunted by his tragic past that's caused his countrymen to incessantly gossip about the circumstances of his birth. His life changed when fate brought him to Naksu, an elite warrior whose soul is trapped inside the weak body of his servant Mudaki. yi while working as his servant, Daki teaches him how to fight in exchange for something she needs.